Ooh, ah. What's up, Internet? How's it going? So today has been a day. Um, I went to Target again in the morning, but it was a little different this time. If you remember, two weeks ago, I went to Target to get Pokemon cards. Went at 3 in the morning, and it was three items per person. Well, this time, they've changed some rules. You can't stay out overnight, and there's only one item per person. So last night, I stayed up all night and just left the house around 1.30. I got there at 2 this time, but you can't stay in line overnight. So when I got there, all the people who were waiting out were waiting on the street in their cars and they set up their own like line system I got up I got to the door and I read the target sign saying all this new information and then this guy came up he's like hey are you here for cards and he gave me this clipboard and he says just write your name down and when the time comes we're just gonna line up by this order so it's like a self-imposed honor system kind of thing so that was cool and we just hung out in our cars and waited until 6.30 when Target came out, checked us all in the same way as before. Waited till 7, got in, and got our stuff. It's a bummer, only one item per person, but I got some cards, so that's good. But the problem that I had today, that I've had times before, is I locked my keys in my car. It wasn't necessarily like my forgetfulness, but they fell out of my pocket as I got out. And uh, yeah, locked my keys in my car. So what I ended up doing was I locked them in there as I was leaving to go buy the cards. It was seven o'clock. I had my wallet, had my phone, keys fell out of my pocket. They were sitting right on the seat. So. I went in, got my cards, came back out, and was like, okay, well, what am I going to do? I went back into Target and bought some tools. I bought some lock-picking tools and got into my car. I have an old car, though. I have a 94 Honda Del Sol that has an old, worn-out key. I mean, they're not the most secure cars in general. And, uh, yeah, so I got into my car relatively easy. Kind of got to know what you're doing, know at least what to look for tool-wise. But I did. I bought some stuff, got in, and uh, went to Walmart to do the same thing. Got one item. They didn't really have much left over because it was open for like an hour at this point. The getting into the car took some time and... But I went to Walmart, got a little, got one pack, and went to Krispy Kreme, got some donuts for breakfast. That's always good. And came home and just uh, kept quiet because Meg was sleeping still. Um, she feels better from her second dose. 100% better. All good. And... We actually just went to Target again for some other stuff. And while I was there, I was like, well, maybe they have some left over. And they did. And because it's one item per person, Meg got some. And I got one more thing because they didn't recognize me. So, bend the rules, whatever. So, yeah, good good Pokemon day. Got some stuff. Um, I'm off today. And turns out with the furniture store, they're closed on Tuesday and Wednesday, those are my days off. So that's kind of a bummer. But they're open till six, so we're gonna go tomorrow because we have to get a couch. I really, I mean, yeah, we, we went without a couch when we first moved in for a while, but who wants to be without a couch for this long? I mean, we spend most of our time in here, so. Gotta get a couch. Other than that, it's been a good day. I'm gonna do some dishes and try, like I say every day, try to get to bed early. Catch up on this weird sleep. I can't believe I didn't sleep, but just went straight to Target 
and I stayed up for a while. I think I, I, I knocked out around 10. And I think I slept pretty much from like 11 to 1. So I got a little nap in there. But I feel good. I don't feel too tired. It's all good. Um, yeah, besides that, I don't think we're going to be doing much tonight. But I will check in one more time before bed. Give a little sign off. See you then. All right, end of the night. We are uh, cleaning up the kitchen, reorganizing some things, just reorganizing the fridge. And Meg goes, why do you have so much jelly? And I'm like, oh, I know. I, I mean, I just recently bought one because I didn't know I had one. And I got home. I was like, oh, I already had an open one. That's fine. Two jellies. They last a long time. Well, we just found out there's another one. I have three jars of jelly. And I barely eat it in the first place. But I needed it for English muffins. I guess I got to make some more PB&Js. Just eat it up. Uh, yeah, it looks great. Fridges reorganized, uh, under the counters reorganized, loaded up on our drinks. All good. Is that eight something? I doubt it. Yeah, maybe. I did buy them recently. So. How recently? I don't know. We'll have to do the water test. Was there only one or two? There's just one. Yeah, I remember I used them for something. But... All right, I gotta go to bed. Not as early as I wanted, but I gotta go to bed. Work in the morning, and I think we're picking up a couch tomorrow. So, I will see you tomorrow.